Hey guys, what's up? Who else wants to see this thing taken apart? I know I do. I've got some questions. I've got some questions for this, and it needs to give me answers. So uh, let's do this. Looks like we've got a couple of uh, body screws, four to be exact. Goes through this backspacer here. Kind of curious if there is, I mean, I'm sure this isn't screwing directly into the backspacer. So imagine there's some sort of uh, pillar in there that's probably seated in there, but we'll see. Or the pivot. Main thing I'm interested in finding out is to see how far this is bent over. If this is bent over a lot, then that means I can actually reduce the tension on it and um, make it easier to operate. If it's not, then I won't be able to, but we'll see. Um, let's take note, almost perfectly centered, slightly, slightly this way, just a, well, you can see, just a tad, and that's from this lock bar here. Um, Looks like the sizes are a T10 for the main. Wow, that's not budging. I guess I should have tried this uh, before I turn the camera on. Hold on, guys. Man, I'm a retard. Knocked over the camera. Then I tried to reach up to grab it and it jammed my hand into the table. Let's see if uh, this will work. If this doesn't work, then I'm kind of stuck with egg on my face making a video about taking this down when I can't do it there we go sucker was loctited or something well, now I can switch to this see th these are not perfect guys you can't really you know get a good torque on them like you can this because of how it goes like this but uh, anyways FYI, in case you're wondering about picking one of those up, I'm really kind of just trying to kill time here as I open this baby up. Woo! Okay, so the uh, whew, okay, so yep, I was right, it does have inserts here it's very cool see how it has that flat end if you can see that there um, it looks like it also has that on here love that love that feature because that means that uh, you know you're not going to run into the issue where it just spins on you you know it'll keep these static that's how I was able to get even though this was on there tight this wasn't spinning because of that now here's the liner side you can see on here They've gone to the effort of not bead blasting where that washer goes, which is funny because, you know, with the tension on this lock bar, this is the farthest knife from smooth that I own. So it's kind of funny they went to uh, that to try and keep it smooth, even though it's the farthest knife from smooth just because of the strength of that lock bar. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's a lot to work with in terms of reducing that pressure. But you can see here, all the way bent in. I mean, it's farther than it locks up, but it's not quite. You know, I, I hate to mess with it. I was hoping that it was pretty jutted over. Let's see, so that's oh, T4. Of course not. It's going to be a T6. But I think what I'll do is give it a shot anyways. We shall bend it over just a tad, maybe, if I can get this, oh, this piece out of there. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's got, uh, it's got those little prongs there. Wow, that's really cool. So that, that kind of, uh, and it's shelved in there. So this, this is not budging. It's not going to push down. So let's see where we at. Yeah, that's about as far as we could possibly go. So that's about, well, Maybe we could go a little more. Let's try a little more. OK. 
Uh, no, that looks like a steel detent ball. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. You hanging out with those ladies, those little girlies? Hey, I'm not really bending this over at all, am I? It's it's hard to gauge because this this insert piece actually makes up a good portion of that lock surface. So when I look at it this way, you know, I'm like. There, okay, that's definitely, I definitely bent it there. I just want to get this right before I put it back together because you can't adjust this on the fly, you know, in order to fix a mistake, I'm gonna have to take it apart. Ooh, that's kind of sketchy right there. Let's see. Yeah, that's... That's got play now. Look at the size of that stop pin. Look at that. That is insane. It's crazy, in this, right? It's crazy. Yeah, that's phew, that's close. It it seems like right now it's bent over to like um right where it engages so there's no more extra tension on it which could lead to a little bit of lock rock so you know I'm thinking guys that there's not really a lot of room for adjustment on this thing the reason for all the extreme tension isn't because the lock bars bent over really far it's because uh, yeah that's the way it was designed with that thick thick cutout so sorry if this video bores you guys this is the kind of stuff I do when I get a new knife <laughs> start tearing it apart oops very very well constructed though I mean you know, the name definitely lives up to hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. how this knife was executed. Hey, buddy. hey son. I kind of stripped that stupid screw just a tad. Yeah, if I do that all the time, I try to over tighten. Damn it. Ah, that pisses me off. Look how thick this liner is. 341. Wonder if that's uh, some sort of unofficial serial number. Okay, let's get this on, let's get this on. And then let's get the pivot in here, guys. Now, I really wouldn't recommend doing this to your knives. Probably 90% of the time, I end up just wishing I had left it as is. Yeah, I think I've got some blade play now. Well, I better put this whole thing back together before I make that decision. I mean, you know, the good thing about it is aside from my retardation with stripping screws, all of this stuff I'm doing can be undone. You know, none of it's permanent. If this does lock up and, you know, it's easier to disengage for now and then it gets a little lock rock later on because it's not moving over far enough, I can always come, what the? What the freak? <laughs> okay, that really blew my mind for a second. That was weird. Okay. Let us see. It's more off center.
there's a tad bit of movement up and down but that was actually like that before there's no lock rock it's a lot smoother though a little bit side to side which is probably yeah that's probably about where it was right guys it was ever so slightly off. Definitely tight tolerances on this biatch. That's actually, I mean, it's still got a lot of, uh, sorry this video so long, it's still got a lot of uh, drag when you're opening it, but uh, I can actually unlock it with one thumb now. <laughs> Whereas before it was really hard to do. So, that seemed to have, uh, seemed to have worked. Yeah, it's about as centered as it was. It's smoother now. Well, not smoother, but it's, you know, with the less tension. Because when you have this lock bar pushing on this blade, that makes a lot of drag. So, Far less drag on it now. This is uh, much improved, in my opinion. Um, I'll probably talk more about this in my first impressions, but you know, I, I assume that they went with this because they wanted a really strong lockup to go with the kind of the tough theme and stuff. Um, but ultimately, you know, I'm not a fan. Uh, they should have dropped this down to a kind of more normal spot, or just you know, done something to make it more practical to open and operate and things like that but that's just my opinion because I just I like this knife a whole lot more now that I've made that adjustment but it kind of concerns me because you saw how it was a delicate dance right I mean this lock bar the tension on this lock bar it's probably only pushing it over just a tad bit more than where it's at now so it doesn't give it a lot of room for wear um, you know, luckily it's got this steel lock bar, but uh, it doesn't give it a lot of, of uh, wear, and yeah, so, and I've mentioned this before, there's two ways to get tension on your lock bar. One is by pushing it so that it's bent really far over, and the other is just the amount of stored energy that's in the lock bar itself, and that has to do with the amount of material at the pivot point and the length of the lock bar. Uh, the closer to this pivot point you get, the harder it is to move this, and that's just how it goes with you know any sort of pivot. Farther farther away you are, like a seesaw, you know it's it's easier as far as the amount of energy it takes to to make that pivot point move. But uh, yeah, okay. If you wanted to see what it's like inside this bad boy, pretty standard. Um, I think I'm happy with the changes I made, except for. I didn't totally strip that screw, but you know, a little bit. It pisses me off quite a bit. All right guys, that's it. Way too long of a video, sorry, later.